Hey everybody, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear. I'm in the commercial kitchen today doing a commercial crew review of a grinder that's been out for a long time. It's kind of a legend, classic grinder in the industry, and that would be the La Marzocco Swift Espresso Grinder. This grinder was pretty revolutionary when it came out. Um, you'll still see a lot of them out there, um, and it is a, it's a solid grinder. These last for a long time if well maintained, um, and honestly, I still think has a, a good spot for some coffee shops in the market today. So let's talk about it a little bit here. As you can see, um, it does have two hoppers. These are massive hoppers, so between three and four pounds of coffee in each, depending on how darkly roasted your coffee is. Uh, right now, we have the Streamline in here from Victrola. It's a little bit darker in this hopper. Uh, and over here, we have the Cali Classic Espresso from Espresso Republic. Uh, this does have about 1400 watts in the motor um, and then it has twin burrs. Um, each of those are 64 millimeter burrs. These are ceramic burrs on this so they stay sharp for pretty long. I know some folks will end up changing those over to steel burrs when they switch them out uh, but you can go ceramic or steel and like I said those are 64 millimeter flat burrs uh, and you have those two sets right there which is why we have the adjustment over here and the adjustment over here for each of those two sides. And then these buttons right here control um, either this side or this side here. So this is kind of uh, an automatic grinder. It grinds and tamps automatically for you. Um, and it's a pretty consistent dose. Uh, it does that by uh, basically checking the volume in the basket itself. Um, it's about as consistent as um, any of the standard espresso grinders would be. So there is some variance, um, but it does tamp really consistently and actually distributes a little bit when it tamps. We're actually gonna pull a bottomless shot a little bit later so you guys can see uh, what that looks like. Actually very minimal channeling, um, which is why I'm a big fan of this grinder because it's a lot more consistent than many new baristas are, especially if you're in a shop that has really high turnover. This can produce pretty consistent espresso just at the touch of a button as long as it's cleaned and maintained well. Let's go ahead and talk about how it works. La Marzocco designed it to work with their portafilters, the way that the ears are, the way that the portafilter itself fits around the basket, um, and also the specific baskets. Uh, they do require specific baskets to work with this grinder, and La Marzocco can set up this grinder to work with other machines. I know like Ranchilio, Rocket, other machines will work with this grinder. So we have the RE Dopia here and we're using the La Marzocco portafilters with it. So that's another option as well. Um, so if you want to mix and match grinder machine, you can do that. You just have to check the compatibility ahead of time. So this locks into place just like that. And then one of these two buttons is going to start the grinder. So once I press it, it's going to start. It's a little bit noisy, so I'm going to wait to do that until I'm done talking. It's going to start grinding and then it actually is kind of grinding and tamping at the same time and because of the shape of the tamper, we'll talk about that in a second, it distributes a little bit as it goes as well, which in my opinion tastes uh, pretty good, creates a pretty consistent shot. So here we go. So it's grinding, that stops, so now it's just spinning that tamper. And then once that light goes out and it stops making noise, that's when it's done. Now, a lot of people, their common complaint will be uh, the ring that's left around the edge with this grinder. Shake that out so we get a better representation here. So you can see there is a little bit of coffee around the edge that isn't tamped. Um, in my opinion, a lot of tampers that are out there will already leave a ring of coffee around it. Uh, and also a barista who's working really quickly, who's making a lot of drinks in a short amount of time, um, they're probably gonna be more inconsistent than this. Because if you look at where the tamp is, um, it's actually pretty close to right around where the edge is. So it's a flat surface all the way across. Uh, and then, also, it's about the same density throughout the whole puck uh, in my experience. So 
It's not a perfect tamp, but it is a good tamp compared to a barista in a high volume environment who's making a lot of drinks. This is probably gonna be more consistent over an hour than a barista would, especially a not well-trained barista or somebody who's a new barista. So that's where this grinder is gonna shine. This does also come with some cleaning tools. So we have this and then we have this brush. Um, like I've been mentioning, this grinder will keep performing well as long as you maintain it well. Uh, and we'll do a full video on how to clean this grinder, so I'm not gonna go into that too much right now. But why don't I take off that tamper fan so you can see what that looks like. So here is the tamping mechanism or the fan mechanism that actually distributes and tamps the coffee. Um, this looks kind of similar to an Oracle Touch, if you've seen one of those before, um, but it's just spinning around and tamping the coffee down and also distributing it at the same time. Um, works very well in my opinion. Um, and we'll see that once we pull some bottomless shots with this. Um, but that is the tamping mechanism there. And this right here will, this, we'll show you this more in that cleaning video, but there's a lever in here that you'll push that locks the motor from spinning and allows you to put this little fan back on. Uh, and also one other note with this fan, um, the way it screws on is uh, opposite. So instead of righty tighty, lefty loosey, it's lefty tighty, righty loosey. Pop that back down and we're all set there. So I've been talking about how this grinder can do bottomless shots pretty well. Um, not a lot of channeling, um, pretty good even distribution and it comes into the center pretty well. Um, so let's pull one of those so you guys can see that. Uh, and then I'll taste it and give some impressions. So here we go. Let's pull that bottomless shot I was talking about. Uh, I have to do this a little bit differently. Most people are using spouted portafilters with this grinder. Um, so we didn't have a bottomless La Marzocco one, but we have this bottomless rocket one. So we don't have a spring in there. So once we tamp, we'll just transfer it over. Uh, let's do that real quick here. We'll grind and tamp. And it's done. Uh, also keep in mind that while that is occurring, the barista can be doing something else. The barista can be grabbing cups, taking orders, uh, finishing a drink, steaming milk. They don't have to be over here because the grinder is doing all that. So great multitasking tool there. Um, I'm gonna pop this in here and we will go ahead and pull this shot and see how it comes out. So we'll get reset and then do that. All right, so that shot uh, pulled pretty well, actually. Um, There's very little channeling through it. Um, it did have a little bit of distribution, possibly, that could have been fixed. Uh, but overall, comparing that to like a new barista or somebody who is uh, in a high volume coffee shop, that's pretty solid, I have to say. And I was really impressed when I saw that. So let's give this a try here. Yeah, you know, I would be happy uh, if I was served that, um, that espresso and I was drinking that. Um, it is very tasty. This is a little bit of a darker roast, so it's a little bit easier to dial in, um, but not too dark. Um, the chocolatiness of it really comes through, kind of that uh, nutty almond flavor comes through as well. Um, overall, I've been really happy with this grinder. Um, makes a lot of sense for a really high volume shop or a shop with a lot of turnover. Uh, because it does produce high quality espresso at the touch of a button. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, look for that cleaning and maintenance video for this grinder to come out soon as well. Thank you guys for watching. 
I'm John. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. If you want to see more of our videos, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you'll see when we release new videos. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.